in this section our main focus will be on understanding the same firewall concepts on the Cisco IOS router. Now there is something called zone based firewall feature which can be implemented on a Cisco IOS router which is going to provide a firewall feature similar to ASA. So just like ASA it also provides some deep, deep packet inspection. So if we get back to the previous concepts like the firewall, uh, typically firewall the basic definition is like it's a, a system or a group of system that manage the access between two or more different networks like you may want to define to, you, you may want to say that the tra user sitting in the LAN should be allowed to access internet but any traffic coming from the internet should not enter into the LAN but at the same time you want to allow the users on the internet to be able to access some services on the DMZ so we can configure a firewall and this firewall can also be a Cisco IOS router enabled with a zone based firewall feature so we can do some uh, deep packet inspection more similar to as we do as we did on the ASA firewalls. So the zone based firewall is like an ASA which, which can do some deep packet inspections and here we don't have any kind of security levels like we did in the ASA. So if we get back to the basic ASA concepts we can define some levels like we can define a level of 100 on the LAN interface trusted interface and zero on the interface facing towards the internet, maybe 50. And by default, the traffic is allowed from uh, from higher to lower, but the traffic is denied from lower to higher. But in case of zone-based firewalls, we are going to associate these interfaces into zones. We can use some name, like I can use some zone one, zone two, or we can simply give some name as LAN and, and some other interface like internet. And by default, no traffic will flow between these two zones. And if you want to allow any specific traffic to flow between these zones, we need to configure some policies. So we'll talk about more about the zones and the configuration as we go ahead. So zone-based firewall work based on security zones. And we need to configure some firewall policies, which, which will define what traffic is allowed between these two interfaces and which direction it is allowed, something like that. Uh, Zone-based firewall replaces the older feature called CBAC. CBAC uh, is the older feature which which is no more used. But the default rule is like all the traffic is allowed. We generally write some deny statement, and then we configure some kind of ACLs to allow the traffic and the return traffic to be allowed. Uh, typically, we don't use that feature nowadays, and this feature is introduced back in 2006. And starting from 12.4 or later iOS versions, this feature is supported in all the iOS routers.